So we're going to talk about how to load samples into the quick sampler in Logic. Now I've done a tutorial on this before where I talked about dragging regions over to the track header or using Keyboard Maestro. Today I'm going to show you how to do this using VLCR. If you are new to VLCR and you don't have it set up yet, visit logic.band slash VOCR or click the link in the description below. While you're on Logic Band, please go ahead and sign up for the mailing list. It's found right there on the homepage. There's also a link to that in the description below you'll get a free getting started with logic course as well as it allows me to let you know when there's new stuff going on cool stuff going on over at logic.band and keep you in a loop on all the stuff that doesn't make it here on youtube please sign up for the mailing list and check out the vocr tutorials on logic.band i got table row one of 85 amp volume zero decibel slider 90.9 percent .9 slider selected quick sampler opened here and this is what it usually shows up as in controls view but what i'm going to do is switch this back over to remote view so once you load a quick sampler in the track you want to view right until you get to the view menu Wait, check, check box. Controls, menu button. and i was over at the table with all the parameters so i just view left over to the view menu once you're on that view menu view space on menu, it three items check mark controls editor go down to editor closing menu 100 percent menu button group and if I view a right, link, uncheck, collapse, collapse, disclosure triangle. You see, it just has that collapse disclosure triangle. You leave that collapse. What we want to do is VLCR this window. So I'm going to press Control Command Shift W to scan the window with VLCR. Finished. And I'm looking for something that says no audio file loaded. So I'm going to use Control Command Down Arrow to read through my scanned results. Classic electric piano. Default preset. Compare copy paste under redo view. 100% nine. Classic one shot slice recorder. No audio file loaded. Snap. Offset soon. So you heard that say no audio file loaded. So it's on the same line that has classic one shot, et cetera, et cetera. So if I do control command right arrow to read across that line of scanned results. One shot. Slice. Recorder. You have one shot slice recorder. No audio file loaded. And no audio file loaded. So we want to do VO shift space to click on this. Menu, six items. Check mark. No audio file loaded. Dim. And we can just use down arrow to go down this menu. If Show we finder. don't. Dim have quick nav on rename current remove current clear history dim load audio file ellipsis load audio file that's what we're looking for so when you view space on this it's going to put you in a standard file open dialog where you can choose the file you want to load and that's where you can navigate to the wav file or audio file that you want to load into the quick sampler so i'm going to view space on this 30 heavy and unique 808s group 1 of 81 column 404 4. this folder right here is the one i want i'm going to go pick it 808 out of this folder 801 group 1 of 30 802 EWAP group 803 FWAP 804 GWAP 805 GWAP group 5 of 30 go with that one now if I stop interacting with this table where I can navigate to the file out of column view browser one item selected 805 GWAP group 5 of 30 and view right optimize optimize tuning and loudness search for loop points and crop silence radio button this is how you select optimize. So remember when you used to drag this over to the track headers, you could choose quick sampler optimize. So if you want that optimize option, you just select the optimize radio button right here. Select it, optimize, optimize tuning and loudness. Search for loop points and crop silence, radio button. Column view, optimize, optimize tuning and loudness. Search for loop points and crop silence, select it, radio button. All right, that's selected, so I'm gonna be all right. Original, use original tuning, loudness, looping and land, radio button. Hide options, button, cancel, button, open, button. And go to open. Group, classic electric piano. View. Now, if I hit a key, and you notice right now it's letting go as soon as I stop pressing a key. And I'm just going to take this up a couple octaves. So you see, so let me pitch this up the keyboard. The cool thing about this, I'm going to scan this window again. So Control, Command, Shift, W. Finish. Classic electric piano. Default preset. Compare copy paste under redo view. 100% 9. Classic one shot slice recorder 805G watch sense snap. Offset zoom. And this line here, classic one shot slice, etc. etc. These are where we can switch our options. So if I go over to one shot, one shot. I'm gonna view shift space. Now when I press a key, I just let go of the key. But you notice the note is still ringing out, and that's because in one shot note it plays the full sample no matter how long you hold the key for. And this is a very long 808 note. So with VOCR, we can switch it, you know, we can turn on slice mode, we can turn on one shot, and we can turn on classic. So I'm going to switch this back to classic. So control, command, shift, W, Finish. scan the window. Classic, like default preset. Compare, copy, paste, classic, one shot, slice, record, 800, one shot. That's one shot. So if I control, command, left, classic, you'll hear classic again. So now if I view shift space there, it'll put it back in classic mode. Likewise, if I command, control, one shot. 
back over to one shot we have just based on that it's back on to one shot command control left classic. classic i just wanted to do that to show you that you don't have to rescan the window necessarily because nothing's really changing when you switch it from one shot to classic at least as far as we're concerned on screen so we can just go ahead and leave vlcr results up click on the one we want if we switch windows and come back you'll have to rescan the window again i'm going to hit escape to clear this because the other thing that you can do is turn flex on now i'm sure flex is in this window somewhere you can vlcr the window control command shift w and look for the word flex see if we can turn flex on from in here what i usually do exit vlcr navigation I just hit escape to clear the VLCR results. Collapse, disclose link, uncheck, checkbox, 100% menu button. That 100% menu is the same menu that used to save view. So put VL space on this. Menu, 11 item, menu, 11 item, controls. Go to controls. Closing menu, controls, menu button. Now it's back to controls view, which is the view you're probably used to by default in logic. So if I be right, link, uncheck, table, row one of 85. we see our table here with our list of parameters. Table, row one of 85. All right. And now Course tune, zero slider, 50% slider. We have these list of parameters. I'm just going to scroll Fine -tune, zero, down zero, this list. Mod matrix slot for depth, 0% slider, amp pan, 0 amp filter, filter, pitch on below the tab, pitch on below, 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 pitch on there we go. Flex. I just turned flex on now. So we have a classic mode and flex turned on now. You can go ahead and use this and, and do whatever you'd like. If you want to save this to reuse in another project, Bottom table. stop interacting with the table. I'm going to view left until I get to link on check control compare check, next button previous button default preset pop up button where it says default preset and you can go ahead menu setting dim undo redo include plug next right previous left copy paste load ellipse save dim save as ellipsis go down to save as view space on this untitled pst untitled is selected save as edit text and give this a name now i would recommend giving this the name of the sample that you use just because i think that will make things a little bit more organized i think this was like unique 8085 g i believe was the name of it now this was from from a Logical pack new, called dialogue. Heavy and Unique 808s, and it was 808 5G from that pack. So I'm just going to call Map, this. Dim, untitled PST, untitled, is selected, save us, edit text, select B, A, B, Y, Heavy, Cap, U, N, I, Q, U, E, Unique, 8, 8, 8, 5, G, 5G PST, G, save as, Heavy, Unique 808, 5G PST, insertion on Word, 5G PST, back, dim, forward, dim, cap H, change the item grouping, hold down option to change the sort, menu button. You don't need to worry about where this is being saved, sampler, so long as it says it's being saved in a quick sampler folder, that's good. Save button. Cancel, but save button. I just hit VO end to jump over to the save button. Save button. So VO space on that to save it. Now in, untitled one logics. Now that is saved as a preset. So I'm going to close the plugin window now here. In, I'm going to just go ahead and go into the library. Untitled, untitled I have the library open. Inspector, so I'm just going to hit Y. Untitled one logics. Untitled one. In control bar. Replace. Untitled. Yeah. Untitled. Library. Group. In light. Library. Group. Library. In light. Also. Horizontal splitter. Save button. And if we hit Heavy unique 800 5G patch. Heavy unique 800 5G. If you go into the library and just hit VON to jump to the end of the window, you'll find a save button. VO space on save. Save as. Heavy unique 800 5G patch. Heavy unique 800. And you see it's giving it the same name there by default. So you can just jump over save to the save button with VO end again. And VO space on that. Now in. Untitled one logics. Unti and now you have a patch with the same name as well. That's how you can load samples into the quick sampler without having to drag a region over to the track headers or use keyboard maestro you can just use vocr to do it as well and so once again you instantiate quick sampler onto a track in logic then you switch the view over to the editor view you use vocr to scan the window look for where it says no audio file it's on the same line where it says classic one shot slice record etc once you find no audio file vocs just space on that it'll bring up a menu Go to the bottom of the menu where it says load file. Feel space on that. It will open your standard Mac OS file dialog. Navigate to the audio file that you want to load into the quick sampler. And then once you select the file you want to load, you can choose optimize or original and then hit the open button. Once you do that, it'll be loaded up in the quick sampler. You can play it. You can view out the window to select between classic, slice, one shot, etc. If you can't find flex in that main window, you can always switch it back over to the controls view. And from there, you can turn flex on as well. Once you're done, if you want to keep this and save it, save it as a preset both in quick sampler 
and if you want to save it as a patch in logic as well in the logic library you can do that as well i will definitely save it as a preset in quick sample though because that should ensure that the uh, audio file ends up in the correct sample folder so that logic can find it again in the future should you want to use it in a different project don't just save it in the library thank you for checking out this tutorial hope you found that useful and helpful if you got any tips you'd love to share with the community please feel free to leave those in the comments below remember to like share and subscribe both to the youtube channel and to the email list found at logic.band that way you can get a free getting started with logic course and i can let you know when the logic keyboard ninja key commands have been updated and keep you in the loop on everything going on at logic.band want to go deeper on this topic or anything relating to mac os voiceover logic or garage band then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band training want to support us then visit logic.band support where you can make a one-time or ongoing donation you can also join the band by visiting logic.band member or just hit the join button if you're watching this on youtube and you'll get bonus tutorials at q a with me and more links to everything plus a blog post with supplemental information for this tutorials in the description and as always happy recording